Everyone, how's it going? It's that time of the year, hunting season's wrapping up. Um, this video is really going to be for the guys who are just getting into 3D archery, um, or maybe some guys who are into it that we just haven't really thought about it. Um, I saw this tip uh, last two years ago, um, and I made the switch over. Uh, it works primarily for indoor 3D target, um, is where I'm going to use this at. You know, if you're using spots, totally different game, but we're talking about indoor season. 3D archery. Um, so you have, you see a lot of guys are going to run a 23 series or 25 series arrow. I run the Victory VTAC 25s for my outdoor 3D setup and I've been running it for my indoor and I still do. I have a way that I can run two tapes on my site. So that's for start. If you run two tapes, this works out great for you. Um, you know, you're always going for the, the 12 rings, the lower the upper 12. Sometimes it get gummed up, especially if you're at the close range or working on your close range shots. And if you're a guy that shoots uh, 50 yard max yardage, that could be a game changer and hard for you. Um, but you know, you're in it for competition, shot execution. So on the competitive side, you're looking to get a leading edge. Um, what I've done, you see this more in spots, is still running a victory, but I'm gonna run their, their VTAC 27. Uh, if you haven't seen these two side by side, many of us have, but there, there's some noticeable difference. Uh, diameter and why I'm using these indoor and typically you wouldn't use these for an outdoor 3d because of the wind drift you can try it but it's a it's a high risk high reward when you do connect but for indoor no win um, I still had stability on there but what I'm going to do is I'm going to aim for the connector lines and what I mean by that um, is on the 3d targets if you haven't seen it so you would be fresh in the sport with this next Next comment here is, um, it's where the 12 ring and the center ring are coming together. So by aiming for the connector rather than the 12 ring itself, and I'm gonna hit and it's gonna suck that, that foam in and allow me to break the line on, the, on that 12 ring. So some of those are smaller. It's a great tactic to have and it's an advantage, especially if you can have both these arrows in your quiver. Make sure that you're in regulations uh, feet per second uh, on both arrows if you're going to do that but it's a great way um, and guys who have seen the target yeah aim for the connectors if you're able to do it and these setters are going to do it you might if, you, if you're shooting with that group I feel sorry for your arrows but it's competition um, if you don't like it then shoot with another group or um, maybe it's time for a different sport I know arrows are expensive but in today's world we're all getting highly competitive and so we're looking for the next next leading point um, that's pretty much all I had on that. If you're looking for arrows, check out Victory Arrows. I've been running for years. Love them. I took part in the prototype series in the VTAC before you could even get your hands on them. So see them start to finish. It's great to see a, a leading product out there. Um, so hope you all enjoyed the little tip uh, and good luck this season.